There's been two huge updates within the AI space just in the past couple of hours. The first one is that OpenAI actually released a new image generation model. It's within ChatGPT and it now allows you to generate really high quality images very, very easily. And you're able to generate images with text. So not only are you able to generate higher quality images, not only are you able to generate higher quality images, you're able to generate a variety of different types of images. In this example, you can see that this image has a lot of text within it and a lot of different objects. Previous models didn't do that well when it came to text and also when it came to adding multiple images. But we can see here that the new interface will allow you to generate images while you're chatting. So you have multi model approach. You can have your text and you can also have your images. In this example, you're able to generate a cat and then you're able to tell AI to add a hat on the cat. And then you're able to add even more inputs to uh, improve the image as you like. So you have a lot more customization over the images in which you're able to create. And as you can see, you're able to create much more realistic in-depth images for any type of situation that you need. And as you can see, again, the texts look really, really good. And there's a lot of different objects within this example. This is a very exciting update because Dolly 3 was not very good when it came to image generation. So the possibilities really are endless for the type of images in which you'll be able to create. If you're a pro member, then it's currently being rolled out. So you'll actually see it within the ChatGPT interface once you generate images. For now, I don't have it available, but as the days goes on, it will be available within the 4.0 model. It'll replace Dolly 3 and it'll be available for both paid and free members. The second update is that Gemini from Google released a new model. It's Gemini 2.0 Pro Experimental. This is a thinking model. So you can see it reason, you can see it think and work through the problems to give you outputs. And just from first testing it and first looks, it looks really, really good. So some of the use cases is you can upload an image and you can tell the AI to create content around that image. So we upload an image here and we told the AI to write a short engaging blog post based on this image. It should include a description of the meal in the photo and talk about the journey of meal prepping. So as you can see here, you can see the thought. So you can see it's understanding the goal. It's an analyzing the image. It's identifying the key themes for the blog post, outlining the blog post structure, and then it went ahead and wrote the actual article. So it wrote that article based upon that image and the content is actually really good. It sounds very human like it doesn't sound like an AI and it was able to and it's impressive because it's multi-model. Again, you can upload images and you can also work with text. So just kind of like 4.0 in ChatGPT, you'll also be able to gener generate images and generate text all in one place. So if you're creating articles and blog posts, it's gonna make it much, much easier to do so. I then gave it a custom prompt to write an in-depth article on chirotherapy mold removal. And then I went ahead and inserted some keywords that I would like it to include naturally throughout the article. I told it to create a custom HTML element include external links, image prompts, and custom infographics. Again, we can see the chain of thought here. It took a little bit of time to really think about it, but the output quality was actually pretty quick. So this is the title, Chirotherapy for Mole Removal, Benefits, Risk, and What to Expect. We see the meta description, and then we see the article body and the title. So it's a pretty long article. It actually went ahead and included the HTML element as well. So we can copy this over. The main difference that I see here is that we don't have the ability to preview the code. That's something that I really like. It's included in Claude and in ChatGPT Canvas, but Gemini currently does not have that available. But overall, the article was really, really good. If I went ahead and I copied over this article, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to paste it into New One Writer to test the content optimization score, be the most up-to-date AI model. Most AI models are trained up to 2024, but this is pretty pretty recent because January 2025 is only a couple of months from before from today. So this is definitely a much more up to date model. The token count, you have up to a million tokens in which you can play around with. And you have a couple of different tools, you can get structured outputs, you can execute code in the prompt, you can do function calling, and you can do grounding with Google search. So that means it will search Google search engine with your um, input to give you much better output. So looks to be a very, very powerful model. And again, it's going to be interesting to see the use cases that are going to come out out of using Gemini 2.5. So I went ahead and pasted in that article from Gemini into uh, New and Writer, and we got a content optimization score 55 out of 100, which is not bad. It has over 4,000 words of content. So that's the main difference here is that 
we get much, much longer in-depth article compared to when I wrote it on DeepSeek. Um, but in terms of content optimization, it is a little bit lower. And I think that's because it's actually overly optimized the content. So if you went ahead and changed that around, you would definitely get a much higher score. But in terms of word count, it is really, really long and really, really in-depth. And when you read through the content, it sounds much more human-like. Gemini has always been much more human-like sounding compared to other AI models. And you can definitely see that in this newer model. So if you wanted to access Gemini 2.5, if you go to gemini.google.com, you will have to upgrade to Gemini Advanced. But if you head over, head over to the aistudio.google.com, you can actually use it for completely free. I'm not sure how long they're gonna keep it for free, but it is still available. And there's a couple of other different models in which you can choose from. So two big updates. Again, number one is ChatGPT has now introduced a much more robust and more advanced image generation. And Gemini has released a new model. Hope that you guys enjoyed this quick update. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.